they will yes, have to learn only by experience that if you keep doing this, other people will also start commenting and they will not like it when that happens. But I can see it happening. We also need to not give those very generous invitations to the world saying, oh, there are problems in India, you know, America and Europe, why are you standing by and doing nothing? Want the truthful answer or the diplomatic answer? So I give you the truthful answer. There are two reasons. Reason number one is because the West has a bad habit for a long time of commenting on other people. <laughs> okay? They, they somehow think it's some kind of God-given right. Huh? And, and I think they, they will have to learn only by experience that if you keep doing this, other people will also start commenting and they will not like it when that happens. But I can see it happen. We can have our arguments. But when in our arguments, you actually invite the world to come and comment on you. Okay? Then people are more tempted to comment, no? So, we also need to not give those very generous invitations to the world saying, Oh, there are problems in India. You know, America and Europe, why are you standing by and doing nothing? So if somebody from here goes and says, why are you standing by and saying nothing? Then obviously they are going to commit. So part of the problem is them, part of the problem is us. And I think both need fixing. Wir haben das erstinstanzliche Urteil gegen den indischen Oppositionspolitiker Rahul Gandhi zur Kenntnis genommen, ebenso wie die Suspendierung seines Parlamentsmandats. Nach unserer Kenntnis stehen Herrn Gandhi gegen das Urteil Rechtsmittel offen. Dann wird sich zeigen, ob dieses Urteil Bestand hat und ob die Voraussetzung für die Suspendierung des Mandats überhaupt gegeben ist. Wir erwarten, dass die Standards in Bezug auf die Unabhängigkeit der Justiz und demokratische Grundprinzipien auch für das Verfahren gegen Rahul Gandhi gelten. Applaus